Hello everyone. Welcome to Map to Love with Katherine Nicole. This is going to be a soulmate, twin flame, divine partner reading. We're going to see where the divine masculine is at, where the divine feminine is at. You can also view this as the divine masculine within you and the divine feminine within you because no matter if you're a man or woman, we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. So you can view this reading for yourself or as a look into your divine partner. As you can see, it's a beautiful fairy theme, and the whole theme is fairies and angels. And there are some messages from the fairies for you to start some channeled messages that I got just by looking at them the way that Spirit has me place them. Um, first of all, we have this beautiful fairy over here, okay? You can kind of see her. She's magical. She's sleeping. She's laying her head on a mushroom. So Spirit wants you to know that um, it's really important that you get rest and that you nourish your physical body and you take care of yourself and eat right and exercise and get rest. And it might be a time to meditate and go within. But you are being given um, information in your dreams. You're connecting to your twin flame, your partner in your dreams. Your, things are being unlocked while you're sleeping. Pay attention to your dreams, your meditations, and any um, anything like that. And that's, you know, get some rest perhaps. This fairy right here to me represents like loving yourself pink like self-love and right the turn green right there that was cool um but this is about loving yourself taking care of yourself of your physical body of your home nourishing yourself and realizing how beautiful and abundant and wonderful you are just all on your own you know filling your own cup sharing it with others spreading your wings with this butterfly and taking flight this says you're never too old for a fairy tale okay so no matter what age you are, no matter how many relationships you've been through, you're never too old for this once upon a time dream to come true, okay? Reach out to like-minded people, hear fairies sharing gifts, you know, and open your hands, open your heart to receive the blessings from the universe that are coming in for you. This is that, you know, the secret garden, maybe something you relate to secret garden, secrets being unlocked, the Akashic records, the book of knowledge being unlocked and healing and connection to source. And then we have a more mature mature fairy over here, right? I like to think of her as myself, you know? And um, it's just that wisdom that you've gained because of the life that you've lived. That little owl on the shoulder, like listen to the wisdom of the universe. Listen to the whispers in the wind because spirit's talking to you. Um, spirit's ringing that bell. Maybe you hear ringing in your ears or you're hearing things that are beyond what most people here in this world. So pay attention to that because I feel like, you know, when they say when they ring the bell, another angel gets their wings. I just feel like you're leveling up spiritually. And that black cat, you have companions with you. You have healing happening. You just, I, I want to say that's a snake that's wrapped around her. So, you know, healing, shedding the old, rebirthing into the new, and unlocking the magic within and ready to take flight. It's beautiful. Okay, we're going to get started with, okay, now, this is the first time I've done this. I know other people do this, but I decided I have so many Doreen Virtue decks. And since she decided to go a different way in life, apparently you can't get some of these decks anymore, which is sad to me because they're very cool. So we're just going to use them. And, you know, that just shows. She just shows I have no judgment. People can do whatever they want in life. But, you know, she decided that she felt inclined to go a different way for the rest of her life. And you know what? That's okay. We gotta let people do what they do. She gifted us with all these beautiful cards and wisdom and stuff prior, and it's up to you to uh, unlock your truth. You know, nobody else can tell you what your truth is. Okay, I know this is a lot of cards, so we're just gonna spread them out. The decks for the Divine Masculine. We're gonna start with the Divine Masculine. The decks are the Archangel Michael, the Fairy deck, and then the Butterfly um, Oracle for Life Changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull um, some cards and we're just going to get some themes for the Divine Masculine. What's going on? What have they been working through in the um, mind, body, and soul? And I'm going to get several different kind of looks at it because it, I am doing a, this for the general collective. So take things as they resonate and leave the rest. Okay, Divine Masculine. What's been going on in the mind, body, and soul? We have assertiveness. Stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. So the Divine Masculine is working on being assertive. 
taking charge of their life, standing up for themselves, standing in their power, setting healthy boundaries, learning when to say no and, and only saying yes when they want to. That's beautiful. That's a beautiful energy to be in. Archangel Michael, you've created the situation. You have the power to change it. Yeah, so they're really working on changing their current situation, painting the picture of the reality that they really want to live. So they, they're going through some changes. They're changing things. They're changing things up. They're, they're working on themselves. I know this one wants to be seen too. Okay, paying. Oh, wow. Right when I said the beginning message, pay attention to your dreams over here. Pay attention to your dreams, Divine Masculine. And if you're a Divine Feminine listening, they're, they're paying attention to their dreams. You are coming to them in their dreams. They're connecting with you in their dreams, okay? So whatever's happening in their dreams is helping with the manifestation of bringing this union together or helping them take charge of their life, realizing how powerful they are, things being unlocked, like I said, the Akashic Records being unlocked. So they know that they have the power to change it and they have the power to create what they want to bring into this life. Boom. Of course it fell on the floor because they make that so easy for me to pick up. Uh, it's keep the faith. Okay? They're keeping the faith and they want you to keep the faith. Like, keep the faith. They're keeping the faith. They've got faith in this. They've got faith in this union. They've got faith. They have faith that it's all going to work out. Make it, they're ready to make a commitment. Look, they're making a commitment to their destined path and plan. They're making a commitment. The Divine Masculine is making a commitment. Remembering the oath they took, wanting to make a commitment to the Divine Feminine. That's what I feel. Commitment's coming. Commitment is coming in. They're ready to speak their truth. Be yourself. The situation calls for you to be your authentic self, which is basis for your personal power. Exactly. That's what I feel like. The main thing that the masculine's been working on is loving themselves, of being really truly authentic to what to what they want. Um, the purple is like third eye opening, connection to source energy, things being revealed beyond the veil, right? So things are being revealed, taking charge of their life. And they know their desires within reach. Yeah, again, having faith that everything is working out in their favor. So Divine Masculine, just keep the faith up. Keep with your commitment. Keep with whatever you've been wanting to work on because it's all coming together. I don't know if those will stay up there, but we're going to try. A few more messages here for Divine Masculine, please. Oh, uh, wow. Be true to you. Be yourself. Keep the faith. Make the commitment. And I feel like this is the Divine Masculine saying to you, Divine Feminine, be true to you. Be true to yourself because I'm being true to myself. And if we're both true to ourselves, then for surely things are going to work out. And we're going to get the clarity we need either to move forward onto something else or to stay together or, move, you know, this new partnership coming in. But I really, I feel like it's all about self-love and being true to themselves. And um, okay, we're going to get a couple more cards here. Okay. Okay. Use your imagination and you'll see the answer. Divine ma Masculine, use your imagination. Use the law of attraction. What are you creating? Because your thoughts are turning into things. Dear God, thank you for granting me the wisdom and creativity to see your miracles in new and unexpected ways. I gratefully and gracefully accept and appreciate your help. And you describe the situation. Okay, so your desire is within reach. Keep on with your destined path and plan. Stay assertive. Stand in your power. Set the boundaries. Make the commitment. Keep the faith alive. Be true to yourself. That is the key. Be true to yourself and use your imagination on how to bring things forward. And some are moving to a new home. So that's maybe what they're trying to manifest is moving to a new place, moving out of the situation they're in, into a new, well, divine masculine, moving is it the right step and direction for you. Moving jobs. But I really feel the home. Like, Clearing out space in your home, changing things in your home. One person's leaving. Something about leaving home, going to the new, the new life. So be true to you. What is it that you really want, Divine Masculine? Are you really happy in your current situation? Are you really being fulfilled? Because if you are not 
feeling like you're being fulfilled in your current situation. You need to be true to you, not only for yourself, but for your partner, because you're holding them back as well. If you don't feel like you're in divine partnership, there's someone else for them, there's someone else for you. And um, your desire to either be single or move into a relationship, um, a union that is a better fit for you is within your reach. Oh, also pregnancy is in your reach. So the birth of a child brings great blessings to you in the world. Somebody could be having a baby. You're having a baby. Your partner's having a baby. You, you know, you're, or someone you know is having a baby. Perhaps you got someone pregnant, and this is the person you'd like to move forward with into a new home and start a life together. That's beautiful. But also this can be birthing uh, creative projects are coming. You know, this looks like she's almost ready to give birth. So the harvest time, like birthing a new life. This is you birthing into a new life, right? Letting the old die, remembering your commitment. Um, and it's a very fertile time. So use your imagination. And one more here. Lean on God and the angels for support. Whatever's changing, whatever's happening, it's beautiful, blessed changes. Just know that. Take charge of your life. Be assertive. Make the commitment and know that you're being supported, okay? Know that the angels and God and everybody are supporting you right now. So you're being supported through these changes. You're being supported into making it to this new home. So lean on them for help and stay assertive, okay? Oh, that one wants to come out too. And body changes too. Working on your physical body, transforming your physical body, eating differently. As we, uh, you know, have more years here on this planet, that we have to do different things. We can't, it's not the same as when we were 19 is when, you're, you know, you're 40-something or 50. It's just not. So something about body changes, but also, yeah, your body's going to change if you're pregnant, okay? So someone's going through some body changes and birthing into new life. We're just going to put that back there. But the body changes could be the pregnancy that, um, you know, your partner's pregnant, you got someone pregnant, the divine feminine is pregnant. Um, that definitely could be, for sure, could be, okay? So the main theme is I'm going to keep is the assertiveness. I feel like that was the first one that came out, and it's like the divine masculine is being assertive, standing in their power, okay? Now, the ones that I mixed up for the divine feminine, let's see where the divine feminine's at. Is the magical unicorns, the um, mermaids and dolphins, and the uh, angel cards, saints and angel cards. I've already shuffled them, but I'm going to shuffle them a couple more times. Because to get all these card decks together is super interesting. Okay, Divine Feminine, where are we at with this union? Where are we at with ourselves? Here wants to peek out. Believe. Believe in miracles. Believe in yourself. Trust the process. Trust this union. Believe and have faith that the universe, that God, that your angels, that your guides are leading you in the right direction. Just believe. But I really feel like it's believing in yourself. Okay? Believe in yourself. Watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So Divine Feminine, that could be what's happening is you're caught up in your thoughts, maybe thinking about the past, maybe coulda, shoulda, woulda kind of a feelings is, and, and your fears and the lower vibration energies, feeling anxiety, like is this really going to happen? Am I making the right choice? Reflecting on your emotions, looking, looking in the mirror and asking yourself, who am I? What do I want now? So it's time to clean up your thoughts, Divine Feminine, if you haven't already done this, and keep them positive. Have faith. Believe. Watch your thoughts because that's a law of attraction. Thoughts turn into things, okay? Thoughts are turning into things very quickly right now. Heaven is watching over you and your loved ones. And perhaps this is the baby. Oh, in heaven waiting to come down. That's so sweet. Oh, my God. For somebody, that's definitely true. But heaven is watching over you and your loved ones during this time. For sure, you're being protected, okay? Mm. Try something new. You only know that you can do something if you try. Perhaps you've been believing in yourself to try go after this new job, go after this new creative project, go after this new partner, the new friends, like-minded people. You may look different. I mean, this is the unicorn riding the waves with, you know, the dolphins and the whales. I mean, come on. Maybe you like to surf, getting out on the water, going on a boat. Just try something different. Shake it up a little bit, you know? 
have some fun again is what I'm feeling with that. It's a wise decision. Whatever you've been thinking about, it's a wise decision. There's that owl on your shoulder, right? Listening to the whispers of spirit, the wisdom that you've gained because you've gone within and you went through the emotions and you understand them and you're leveling up spiritually and whatever you're deciding, it at, whatever that new thing is, whatever you're going after, it's a wise decision. So this is your confirmation that, that it's a wise decision to try a new approach in life. Okay, there we go. There's that creative project, self-employment, that new thing that you're working on. It's a wise decision. You're a born entrepreneur and your business is surrounded by magical opportunities. So if you were divine feminine questioning about whatever it is that you've been thinking about going into, here's your answer. It's a wise decision and you can be happily and successfully self-employed. Simplicity. Put your energy into the basics and let go of the excess. Yeah, it's time to go back to the basics. Uh, write down your priorities. Go back to simplifying your life. Perhaps it's gotten a little crazy because there's all these different energies that want your attention and you're so beautiful and your light is shining so bright. But you need to set your boundaries just as the divine masculine is doing. Set your boundaries and put your energy into what makes you happy, what brings you joy. That is a wise decision, okay? I don't know that one wants to come out, but they all want to come out together, so we'll see what that says. Oh my gosh. First of all, finish what you've started. You've started something important, and now it's time to complete it. This is your growth. This is your healing. You, you, you started ending a cycle, get, letting things go that weren't serving you. So finish what you've started because miracles are happening in your life. This is Christ consciousness coming down, moving through you, giving you information. The world is in your hands. You are a healer. Miracles are happening. You're being healed. And what is it all about? Love. The answer that you're seeking is love miracles in love are happening in your life. So finish whatever it is that you need to finish up because miracles in love are coming in Divine Feminine. Believe it. Yes. Focus on yourself. Focus on your creative project, your career. But miracles in love are coming through. Finish whatever cycles need to be finished. But the main message here, I feel, I'm going to leave it, is believe in the miracles of love. Believe. You deserve it. You're worthy of it. It is something that you came here to experience and you planned for yourself. And it really is about taking care of yourself too and loving yourself and believing in the magic that's within you and standing in your power because miracles are happening. And whatever that is that you wanted to you want to branch out and do, go for it. It's time. You're in you have all you need to do this. And I mean, the masters are working with you. Christ, a master working with you, helping you heal, helping with these miracles. It's beautiful. Okay? So we're going to just uh, keep the love, of course. Oh, and I'm so sorry. Little birdie, I knocked you down. Uh-oh. We don't know how the little birdie wants to be. Oh, there we go. That's all about speaking your truth, right? So uh, make sure that you do that. Okay, so we're just going to put love over here because you're dreaming of love, whether it be loving your life, loving your job, loving yourself, loving love with a partner. I mean, I feel like that's what the divine feminine has been dreaming of is this love, this divine love, this divine partnership coming together. And the masculine, the divine masculine is ready to be assertive in this, okay? Ready, ready to be assertive. Taking charge. I like it. And the Divine Feminine, just open your heart up and your arms up to receive. I mean, that's literally all you have to do. Okay, we are going to use this Angel uh, Tarot deck, and we're going to get the energy uh, uh, with the Divine Masculine, what the Divine Masculine would like to say to the Divine Feminine at this time. Trust your intuition, because I'm listening to mine. Have patience. Things are working out. I'm going within and I'm making sure that I'm making the right decisions in life. But I know that you are my true divine partner. 
this book of knowledge has been opened to me. I understand it now. So I'm working on myself and I'm working on getting things in order, but I am listening to my intuition and I want you to trust yours. So something's being revealed or something's been kept a secret that the, that the masculine wants to reveal, right? The high priestess like bringing things in, like something wants to be revealed. And look at that. Wow. Okay. So then we have the moon. Important psychic insights, events behind the scenes, releasing fears that are holding you back. This is what the masculine is working on. So is, what did I say? Something being revealed. Definitely something being revealed at certain things that need to end. So in facing fears, knowing that they're a false reality, it kind of, to me, it feels like the divine masculine has felt trapped in a situation and realizing that they have the power to set themselves free, that nobody or nothing can hold them back from their true destiny. And that's, what, that's what's being revealed. And look at this. They want to make an offer. This is ace of earth is earth energy, right? Bringing it into the material world, bringing it into the physical Abundance is happening, new opportunities, that job, whatever it is going after moving, we saw, you know, saw in that. The inflow of abundance, a promising business venture, important documents or contracts. Perhaps you're, you and your divine partner are going to do this business and you're coming together for that. Or that'll help re give a resurgence in the relationship you're in. But something's being offered. Someone's coming in with an offer. And this could be the divine masculine saying, I want to offer you something. I've been working on it. And that's what I'm getting together because I want to offer you something. You are very abundant to me. You make me feel abundant. And I want you to feel good and stable and secure in the material world. This also could be someone's relationship moving up to a new level, getting a ring, a higher level of commitment, moving in together. Nine of fire. Okay, so this divine masculine wants you to know, divine feminine, that they are strong and they are stable and they have stamina and they're going the distance. This union is worth it and they are going the distance. Fire energy is very spiritual energy. This highly charged spiritual being moving forward, trusting their intuition, connecting with the divine, overcoming things, overcoming challenges, and they are strong. And they're very protective. They'll be very protective of you. Wow, beautiful. Justice is being served. Justice is being served. And it's that I'm recording this during the new moon in Libra. That's when things come into balance, right? The scales come into balance. That's what the divine masculine wants you to know. Justice is being served. I'm getting the scales into balance here. And I'm making good decisions. And perhaps they are in court, you know, getting a divorce and figuring things out, figuring the money out, the house, the kids, you know, all that stuff. But they are standing in their power and they're standing up for what they believe in. And they are manifesting this twin flame union. Eight is manifesting. Magic is in the air. Union. Infinite possibilities. And it came, I put it right under the two, which is partnership coming together. And then another two. Okay. It's at a stalemate, but I feel like it's not. I feel like this is where the divine masculine has been, and this is what he, he I'm going to say he because it's easier. He, it could be a she, but what they want to tell you is that they're cutting through the illusions. They're cutting through the crap. They're cutting through the bullshit, and they're making the decision that's best for them. There's been a stalemate at some point in their life, but they're making the decision to move forward. They want to move forward and out of the stalemate. That's what's being revealed is the decision to be made. Page of Fire is creative, confident mischievous, outgoing, breaking out of the box, message of love, very fiery, uh, you know, new endeavors. So I feel like they're working on something new in the, for the material world as far as a job or where they live or how they operate. And, and, and it's really passionate. It's really creative. And they're feeling very confident about it, actually, the choices that they're making. They're, they're feeling very confident about the choices that they're making. Yeah, they realize they're the magician. They're creating their own reality. They want new beginnings. They want new beginnings in life and every aspect. There's that infinity sign again. And you're ready. They're ready. They have what it takes. They know it. And they know life is magical. And they want this union. They want this union. They want new beginnings in this union. They want you to know that they're working on new beginnings. Ace of Earth and the magician. That's a pretty abundant new beginning. Okay, here's that clarity. And we got another ace over here. Holy crap, this is amazing. So, um... 
the divine masculine sees you, divine feminine, as independent and witty and, and beautiful and smart and intuitive and taking charge of your life, all-knowing, can see beyond the illusion, see beyond the fears. And there, I just noticed this, but there's like a divine masculine right here. So feeling very much like they're being healed and restored because of you, Divine Feminine, because you're standing in your power, it's allowing them to stand in theirs. And they want you to know how incredibly strong and gifted that you are, that they really look up to you. They really look to you for this support, and, and they want to be the best versions of themselves for you. So they're clearing away anything that doesn't serve them, right, and this justice, this clarity coming in. They Look at this. New beginnings in love, falling in love, resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, enhanced intuition, a new home. Again, confirming a new home. Okay? So there's a new home coming for somebody out there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was more than one somebody. But this is, you know, filling. I'm filling my own cup and I want to share it with you. This is a love of a lifetime. This is an opportunity of a lifetime to come together with you. Oh my gosh, to come together with you in the material world. Wow, balanced, being playful with what they have going on. They're finding the balance with the material and the spiritual world, okay, bringing it all together. But to me, this is like reaching for that balance, that it's going to, from the ace to the two, you're on the right path, like coming together into partnership. And look at this. This is the divine masculine, the king of freaking pentacles. What did I say about it being abundant? Whatever is going on, it's leading you to abundance, divine masculine. And, the, and what the Divine Masculine wants to tell you, Divine Feminine, is I've got it. I've got, I'm getting it together. Like, I'm stable. I'm abundant. I want to share it with you. I'm compassionate. I'm generous. I'm responsible. I make good decisions. And I'm successful. And everything I touch is turning to gold. And, and, and I want to offer you this golden opportunity. And, and I feel like you are my golden opportunity. And I feel that I'm good on my own. And I feel good. But I'm much better with you, my queen. I'm much better with you. And look at that, the bottom of the deck, the ace, two to the three. I'm telling you, it's, if, it, if you are not with your person yet, this, this masculine is bringing to the physical, is wanting this partnership to come together, is wanting to create with you, create life with you, birth life with you, make money with you, have fun with you, be a true partner to you. Wow. Wow. Okay, so that's the messages. New beginnings of stability, passion, love, no longer living in fear, taking charge, wanting to speak their truth to you, bringing things into balance so they can be the best, most perfect version of themselves moving forward. Okay, so we're just going to leave that king of earth up there over here so we know. There we go. And now we're going to move to what the divine feminine going on divine feminine what would you like to say to the divine masculine your partner or the divine masculine within yourself okay divine highest and best well i'm feeling a little burdened by life i'm feeling that um I have a lot going on and I have a lot of responsibilities and I just feel like the weight of the world is on my shoulder. And I want help. I want relief. I'm ready to drop the burdens. I'm ready to be done. I don't want to do this life alone. Perhaps I'm, you know, the divine feminine, you're a single mother or you've just been going at it alone or even if you're in a partnership, you still feel like you've been alone for a while. I mean, that does happen. Um, it does happen. But you're being guided on how to drop the burdens. You're, the Divine Feminine wants you to know, Divine Masculine, that your energy, that your light, that your beauty, that your love is helping her drop the burdens. And what I'm getting, Divine Feminine, is that this king, this, this beautiful king that's coming in for you or that is, you know, you're, you're having this new connect, or resurgence of a connection with will help you drop your burdens, for sure. All you have to do is ask the Prince of Autumn, so wanting someone that's dependable. The Divine Feminine says, I want someone I can depend on that can protect, that feels protected, that I feel safe in your arms and is, is, is romantic and opens doors for me and treats me like the queen that I know that I am. 
and I'm being cautious about who I let into my life because I've been through a lot. So I'm going to be very cautious, just so you know. I'm very cautious, and this is what I want. I just want some stability. I just want someone I can count on, someone that's my best friend, someone that I can laugh with and live life with and celebrate with. Yeah, there we go. The three, we just had the three pentacles from the divine masculine. And this is the divine feminine. Say, yeah, you. this union is worth celebrating. I want to celebrate with you. I want to celebrate life. I don't want to be stuck in this Cinderella rag story of the burdens. I'm ready to bust free and enjoy myself with my friends. Enjoy my, coming together with you. And it, it might be divine feminine if you get invited to a party, a wedding, or some kind of gathering that you should go. You should go. No matter what's going on, you should go ask somebody else for help. If you need help with your kids, ask a friend. Because I, I promise you, unless you ask every day, they're, they're going to help you. Somebody will be there to help you so that you can go out and have some fun and, and alleviate. Just ask. There's people that will help you if you just ask. Divine Feminine is going through an awakening. Divine Masculine, looking at things from a different perspective. Finding that peace and balance. Finding the peace and the happiness in the pause. Even if you're not together, they're finding the peace within Divine Masculine. So Divine Feminine, embrace yourself. Embrace your uniqueness. It might be a pause in action, but just change the way that you're looking at things. Change the way that you're looking at these burdens. What have these burdens taught you? How have they helped you be a stronger person and put you on your destined path? Ask yourself these things. Are these energies, are these people friends that really aren't serving you anymore and or family members that you need to distance yourself from, whatever these burdens are, let them fall. See things from a spiritual point of view. Some people in situations are meant to be for a long time and some are not. And Divine Feminine is waking up to the union, to the sacred, sexual, amazingly beautiful, deeply spiritual union with another. This love is long-lasting and also a return to good health. The Divine Feminine, if you haven't been feeling well, you're, you're getting a return to health. But Divine Masculine, the Divine Feminine is making a choice. She wants to be with her Divine Partner. She wants to be with you. And create a legacy with you. Have a happy family life with you. Ten of Pentacles. What did I say? It was going to be very abundant. And look what's flanking a ten and a ten. And in the middle of celebration, okay? So ending certain cycles so that you can enjoy these new beginnings of this abundance. It's an incredibly abundant union. I mean, on all levels. And kids coming together, having kids, that pregnancy, the babies, happy life, being feeling joyful, appreciating what you have. And so Divine Feminine... This is what you're moving towards when you drop the burdens. When you move, go follow your heart. What makes you happy? But but there's there's good there's good things that are coming. Is there anything else? Oh, yes, divine feminine. What did I say? Birthing a baby, birthing new ideas, birthing projects. But this is you. This is when you're the most glorious, and when you attract your divine partner to you is when you're loving your life. And you're feeling good and knowing how abundant, knowing how beautiful, knowing that you are the creator of life. And it just, it's such a beautiful energy. Time to take action on something divine feminines. Power of creativity. Success that allows for a life of luxury. So what did we hear, feel over here? That self-employment is going to make you live in a life of luxury. I, I, like both of you, like I, I really feel something together. And it's all about life experience, and that's what you're realizing. You're realizing it's all about the experience. It's all about the journey, and you've made it pretty far on your journey, Divine Feminine. Congratulate yourself. Let go of belief systems that no longer work for you. An important life-changing event, a situation that leads to significant opportunities is coming your way. That's what I feel is happening. It's just, and you're moving on, moving on. And, and during this time of healing, the Three of Swords, healing from the past, Re reach out to others. These burdens that you're feeling, the emotional burdens, um, reach out to others to help you and comfort you and give you love. Love surrounds you, Divine Feminine. You will grow stronger from this situation. It's the sadness that heals over time and makes you understand who you really are. And here we go. Something from the past. 
This is a soulmate card for sure. Someone coming in from the past, the return of people or romances, just something, just I feel like something beautiful. Like things that you've been praying for since you were a little girl or since you were a little boy coming true. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And look what's on the bottom. And I feel like it was a three for the other, but three of spring. That's, yeah, your ships are coming in. Plan your next steps. It's a job well done. You've got this. Like everything's coming together for you, Divine Feminine. It really is. And the Divine Feminine would like to tell you, Divine Masculine, that they're ready. They know it's all about a life experience. They're working on healing. They're, they're ready to build their legacy, to drop the burdens, to have someone they can rely on, to celebrate life, to come together with the lover, the love of their life. And you've got a lot of threes on the board just right here. Three, 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 three. So if you start seeing threes, that's, that's a definite sign for you, Divine Feminine. Threes and three on the bottom of the deck, that's a lot of threes. Okay, here we go. We are going to put the lovers on top, of course. Oh, over the legacy one. There's a lot of good cards in here. Okay, we're going to get some messages from the Romance Angels, which I hear you can't get anymore in this deck, so hopefully I won't um, ruin it to the ground before. <laughs> but I like these, so we're going to use these. And we're just going to get some information from Spirit about the union from the Romance Angels. Okay. I, what, what, what are we even talking about? How, how interesting, and I love how they bring it all around, but finances and career, yeah. Working on the finances, working on having enough to offer, working on this new opportunity, divine feminines, uh, self-employment, a creative project. So they're a factor in the love life right now. So it's, it's just, you know, just making sure they have enough, just making sure everything is in order, which is good because you wouldn't want to call someone to you or you know, make them come back in and, t and tell you their truth when they're not ready. Nor would you want to go forward to anyone if someone was pressuring you and you weren't ready. So it's all in divine timing. Look at this. Past life relationship coming in. You've known each other before. And we just got the Six of Cups. So a soulmate coming in from the past. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. If you have, express your love for yourself first. But if you have someone in your life, that you care about, that you feel these romantic feelings for, express your love, okay? Express it, okay? You've known each other before. You get it. You feel it. You feel the connection. And look at that. <laughs> oh, thank you, romance angels. Look at that. Whether it's marriage on a piece of paper or legally or not, whatever, it's a higher level commitment. Somebody may be leaving a marriage so that they can be with you take it as it resonates but this is beautiful union and going away together it's time to disconnect from the world and just be together and this is what your life is going to be like a beautiful retreat a beautiful paradise doing things together finally having a partner like wow is this really happening i'm really doing this it's really happening and just you know this is connection this is best friends this is part true partnership coming in true partnership coming in Let's see what the um, Abundance Angels have to say for this connection, for this Divine Union. And another message for the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine is wanting you to make this choice in love. Decide. Look at that. Dreams of abundance. Dreams coming into life. As you sleep. God, your angels, and your higher self are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insights that will help you manifest your desires. Exactly. Gratitude list. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of this universe. Exactly. Being appreciative. Living in that appreciation and you'll have more things to... Okay, I'm not going to take this huge chunk, but partnership is coming in for you. That's I, I really feel it very strongly. And what spirit is wanting you to do with your time right now, who's ever listening to us, is, is know it's safe for you to receive. So you have to allow yourself to receive. The more you allow yourself to receive the blessings, the abundance, the love, the healing, the more resources you have available to share with others. Open your arms to receive 
and be a conduit for good coming to you and through you as it blesses the world. Exactly. And clean energy food, something about cleaning up your diet. You know when you eat cleaner and you drink more water and eat more fruits and vegetables that you can manifest a lot faster. Okay, so that's what this is about. And it um, also says this automatically leads to more efficiency, better ideas, and higher vibration, which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. And that's what I feel is coming in, golden opportunities, abundance, a partnership. Here we go. Abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Thoughts turn into things very quickly. You're manifesting very quickly. So what is it that you're thinking about? What are you dreaming about? Dream bigger. Clean up your thoughts. You know, clean up your body. Clean up your mind, body, and soul, okay? Because this is divine union. This is sacred union. This is a soulmate. This is very abundant very um, passionate, very creative. Express yourself, express your love, express your creative talents. We're going to get some ending messages here for you because they're super cute, fairy-like, right? The cherub angels. Make a wish because your wishes are coming true. The universe just wants you to make a wish and believe it. It's happening. Speak up and tell the truth. Yeah, speak your truth. And giggle a little, laugh a little. Look, she's laughing. She's like, ah, you know, oh my gosh. Like almost like so flattered, you know. So speak your truth. Have fun with it. Have fun with the world. Have fun with your friends. Have fun with your divine partner. Flirt, you know. Uh, something about being outdoors. Mother Earth, you know, does help you ground. And your partner may enjoy being outdoors. Maybe you're going to go hiking together, fishing, on the water, whatever it is. But it's getting outdoor, grounding yourself, earthing, you know, letting go of energy that's not serving you to be recycled in the earth. And then gathering up that vital energy that mother earth has for you and, and helping restore your body and there's a tiny little hummingbird so there's spirit there's loved ones and spirit guides that are around you when you see a hummingbird you'll know love and value yourself first always and we'll I'll, i will say this over and over and over again loving yourself is the key and you are special and you are gifted and you are talented and it's time to spread your wings and fly and maybe spending time with pets that they give that unconditional love will help you, will help nurture you, will help make you feel better, nurture that inner child, okay? If you're feeling sad, if you're feeling lonely, spend time with your pets. Okay, I have to get a couple more just because they're too cute. Pets are nothing but unconditional love. And I will tell you, I had a beautiful meditation yesterday, and my cat Jay and Silent Bob, my beautiful kitties in heaven, came to visit me. And I felt their paws go like this on my bed. And this happens to me all the time. But I felt the paws. And I felt them get closer and felt their energy. So even if your pets or loved ones are, are, have transitioned, they're still with you. Angel lights. The angels are with you. Pay attention. They're guiding you. Have faith in God's miracles because, as we saw, miracles in love are happening. Have faith. Believe. Be gentle with yourself and others. Be compassionate with yourself. Love and nurture yourself and others. And spiritual gifts of seeing and feeling energy. Yes, you are gifted. What you're feeling energetically, connecting to your partner, even if they're not in the physical, it's real. That's a real connection. You can really feel them. It's real. And your gifts are real. So feel into it. Be curious about it. Explore. I love it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading. And you've got something beautiful out of it. I always intend that. And healing and love is coming your way. And I appreciate you liking it. Hitting that like button and sharing and subscribing and commenting. Because it just helps the channel grow. And it helps me speak, get my truth out there. Because I'm finally speaking my truth. And I'm encouraging you to do the same. I love you all.